We've really gone into some new space in the last two years. Um, we produce a tremendous amount of live music webcasting. And when I say we, uh, my production company is called Third Wave Productions, and I have two partners. My partners, Terry and Stephen. And we've uh, uh, took our focus on surround sound and DVDs and extended it um, into the world of live webcasting. Now, we all know that there's, there's audio outside the recording studio. There's audio outside recording the Rolling Stones or Bruce Springsteen. There's audio for film. There's audio for television. There's audio for commercials. There's audio in every kind of, of um, media. So as people look at being part of pro audio, I always tell them to, to think broader than just the music recording studio. That's a pretty narrow slice of what professional audio really can involve and the opportunities that are available for people. One of the ones that we've jumped into with both feet is uh, web delivered music. Um, and this is just the beginning because there are going to be opportunities to deliver a lot of content. We're already seeing it going to, tele to f cell phones. Phone casts is what we call that. Phone casting. Um, we're going to see it in something called IPTV, which is Internet Protocol Television. You're going to see some of the big companies that already have a wire into your house, whether it's through your DSL box or your cable modem box, deliver television down that line called IPTV. So there's a whole bunch of new delivery systems out there. And we're all aware of web-based stuff. Um, we got involved with a number of festivals. We've done all the audio production for the Bonnaroo Festival for the last four years. And Bonnaroo is the biggest festival in the country. It gets about 90,000 people. Uh, it's in June in Tennessee. It's been very successful. And we started working with them. Uh, this is year five of them. We've, we started working in year two at Bonnaroo. Bonnaroo has five stages. There's music there from noon to 4 a.m. every day. Uh, it's really a special destination. And we were recording all the audio, and uh, the Bonnaroo promoters made it available for download. About the, Of the 60 or 70 bands that perform there, they would make available 30 full sets that you could buy after the festival. So if you want to go back and get the Dave Matthews and Friends set or the Medeski Martin and Woods uh, set or Ben Harper's set after the festival... About half the festival's there, and it's not front of house mixing. It's recorded multi-track by uh, 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 one of our teams, and then we remix it after the festival, and then we make sure the artists get to hear it and approve it. In some cases, an artist may say, hey, we have some notes. We'd like the piano louder in this song. We, we think the bass is low in that song. We love that. We get some feedback, so we get artist-approved mixing, and then it's available for purchase uh, by the promoters of this festival, which has really been kind of visionary of them. I have to give them tremendous props for this, so that if you were there and you saw a great set by Umphreys McGee, who played at midnight for four hours, you can get the whole four-hour set. Buy it, download it, burn it to CD, keep it, there's artwork with it. We started doing that, and we found that to be a real great extension of what people were used to, and it had the benefits of being remixed and artist-approved. Um, last year, we started with three festivals, Lollapalooza, Austin City Limits Festival. Both these are giant festivals. And then a new festival that was in Las Vegas last Halloween called Vegus. All these were multi-stage festivals. Uh, last year, we produced not only this audio recording, we produced a video production live that was available in real time at uh, sponsored by AT&T, this particular one, at their site called The Blue Room, which is a music site. And you could see these festivals live for about 12 hours a day. So we were producing a live webcast with switched multi-camera production at each of these stages. Artists cleared that wanted to participate and you could see and hear a live performance by artists from these festivals. This year we're going to be doing it in two weeks, at uh, three week, two, three weeks, at the Bonnaroo Festival. It'll be 12 hours a day. So last year we did about 75 or 80 hours of a live webcast from these festivals. This year it'll be over 100. And then after the festivals, they archive a couple songs from each of these performances that people can go back and see. And that's kind of 
taken uh, our production experience in a new direction because now we're not only have shooters on stage, audio, uh, multi-track audio being mixed live. We have uh, we have a director doing a live line cut, marrying that to the audio, bringing it to a webcast control room where we're switching live, adding lower third graphics to d to. Uh, uh, describe who's playing right then, previewing who's coming next, transitions. Essentially, it's live television production. It's exactly what it is. And then we satellite it up to, uh, to Yahoo or, or uh, whoever else is going to be carrying this for the client.